so thankful for, for that song, the expression of that song, and for the relationship that it's talking about. When I think about that relationship, it just makes me so thankful for the grace and the mercy and the love of our Savior. Have you thought about that? The only reason that relationship is even able to happen is because of His love, because of what He gave to us. And I was drawn this past week to this, this passage. In uh, Galatians 3, verse 10, it says, All who rely on observing the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. And you've got to go back and read that whole passage. But he's talking about, you know, salvation through grace versus salvation through the law. And he says, you know what the thing is? If you, if you base your faith, faith, faith and your salvation on accomplishing the law, he says, you've got to obey every letter of it. That's impossible. And God knew that. That's why you turn the page. And he said in verse 13, but Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who has, is hung on a tree. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Is anybody thankful for grace today? Anybody thankful for the love of God? Please thank you for the awesome love and grace that He has shed on us. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see.
verse of that song comes true. The earth dissolves away and the sun shines no more. We stand before your throne, Father. That God, we plead the grace and the blood of Jesus Christ. And then we can stand before your throne, Father, in the righteousness of Christ, dressed in his righteousness alone, and worship you face to face. Thank you, Father, for that awesome promise and for your mighty, awesome love. In Jesus' name, amen.